Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for a re-review on the 1-6 scale Blitzway red jacket version of Tyler Durden from the classic film Fight Club. I have owned this figure in the past, but I sold it. I always missed him, and then he came into stock at our store at the figure pit, and he came with a few extra goodies that you usually only get with the deluxe version that comes with both the figures, the red jacket version and the fur coat version of Tyler Durden. So, I have the dressing gown now for the first time ever. I've always wanted to be able to rock him in that look. And uh, another little thing, well two actually, uh, it wasn't now, the chair. Uh, that usually just comes with the fur coat version, but the chap who sold us the figure included that as well. And also the soap dish and the Fight Club soap bar. That usually only comes with the fur coat version as well. So a few really cool little extra additions here. And I'm so glad he came into stock and I had to snatch him up, folks. I traded in my... Uh, Killmonger by Hot Toys. Let's pay a little bit extra on top because this is an older piece. And it's very you know, it's skyrocketed on the secondary market now on eBay. When you go looking for any one of the Tyler Durden Fight Club figures, they are very, very expensive. I'm so glad to have him back. The original review that I did way back when this first came out was pretty terrible when I went back and looked on it. I didn't really listen to it, I just took a glance at the actual footage and I was using the torch on the phone from four years ago and just really washing out the sculpt when I was filming it so I'm really glad to get the opportunity now to go back and give them the full treatment so make sure you're watching this video in full 4k HD I really hope you enjoy it make sure you come and check us out at our store we've got some incredible stock in at the moment that's www.thefigurepit.com you can part exchange of us sell us your figures collectors in the UK making it as easy as possible to do and I hope you are enjoying the service don't forget to subscribe to the Figure Pit channel and follow us on Instagram too. Alright, drop a like on the video if you enjoy it folks. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get started with a nice in-depth review on the Blitzway Red Jacket Tyler Durden from Fight Club. So let's take a look at all the accessories quickly. We have the glasses which are now on the head sculpt. They are pretty decent. Oliver People glasses. They're quite expensive from what I've seen online. And you've got the cigarette that kind of fits in his mouth. It's got a kind of squished end on it, so it kind of squishes in there between the lips. It really helps the likeness in the sculpt, I think, having the cigarette in the mouth like that. And then we have two more cigarettes right there. And we have one bottle of beer and another one in his hand. And notice the ring and the scar on that hand. And then down here we've got more hands. Yeah, nicely sculpted, nicely painted. And you got some golf balls, some spare wrist pegs, golf club, which is plastic, and the Fight Club bar of soap on the soap dish, which again is actually uh, meant to come with the fur coat version. But I was lucky, and the person who sold us the figure at the figure pit included some extra goodies, like I said. And then you've got the Paper Street Company business cards. We've got the Tyler Full Flavor cigarettes, and then the uh, plastic baseball bat, and the gun, and the chair. Again, that comes with the fur coat version, but it is awesome to have the chair here. And I've just got some uh, Blu-ray in the background there. That's a really nice Blu-ray steelbook. And then the dressing gown and the shower the taps, and some really nice weathering on that. That's really nicely done. You also get that really cool little coat hanger that comes with the dressing gown. Again, dressing gown only comes with the deluxe double pack, but I got lucky and the chap who sold it to us included it. So thank you very much for that. And the awesome Fight Club backdrop, that's basically the packaging just for the dressing gown. And the packaging for the figure itself is absolutely gorgeous. And I went back and I watched everyone's reviews on this figure when I was you know, anticipating getting it again myself. And definitely recommend you check out the Clipper King videos. Did reviews on both versions and some modification videos too. Really enjoyed watching them. Made this head sculpt in particular uh, looked really good in his video. And it's it's an interesting head sculpt. We'll talk about that. I mean, it, the likeness, the sculpt is perfect. It's not as detailed as the prototype that was shown, but that's old news now. But the it's still an excellent sculpt. I love the way they did the hair. I'll just zoom in for you here. Yeah, X 
excellent work with that. And then this Brad Pitt 100% from Fight Club. A really nice reflection off the glasses too. We'll put the figure on a rotating base in a minute. We'll go look at the, uh, the full figure just turning round. Really good proportions. Alright, rotating base time and it's an incredible piece. It's an amazing figure, man. It really, really is. And I guess it's about four years old now and still looks absolutely incredible. You get the light hitting the eyes as he comes around. A little twinkle. Yeah, man. I'm just really seeing the scene when he walks out of the bar with the narrator for the first time they have a fight. It's just incredibly accurate. jacket I don't think it's real leather I could be wrong I heard someone say in another review you know from years ago that they thought it was but it is very thin I don't really I don't really get the leather smell off it or anything but it could be I mean it's very convincing but the shirt is really well done as well the collar comes over the top there perfectly and these kind of track pants here I actually watched a video last night about a guy who collects movie props and outfits and he actually managed to track down the actual screen used pair of these pants. I forget the name now because he was saying it took him like 20 years to finally find, uh, find out the make, the brand of these and I forget it now but it is on YouTube. I'm sure it's easy enough video to find. And then these awesome boots as well, They're really well done. Really good sculpt. So everything just seems to fit perfectly. The hair has been sculpted so well. Oh, it's the little tufts coming around the bottom of the ear. Scuff on the side of the face there, on the side of the temple. Ouch. And stitching on the coat, the jacket. Beautiful work on that. And the shirt all up in there. Alright, now we'll just talk about the head sculpt because it is absolutely fantastic and I've done my absolute best here. I've spent a good 10 minutes sitting here messing around with lights. It's got three different lights on the go plus the ones on the ceiling. You do really have to work with the lights to get the best out of this sculpt and as you can see as it comes around it's absolutely incredible looking. Um, but I have got you know a nice warm glow coming from above from the ceiling lights, another kind of warm glow LED lamp here kind of getting the hair and kind of coming over his shoulders. And then another light over here on the right. And we've even got one below us kind of shining up into his eyes to try and get a little bit of light, you know, glint of light in the eye as he comes around, which I've managed to do there. Still got the cigarette in the mouth because I just really think it, you know, I think the mouth was kind of designed. It's even on the box right there. You know, there's a little gap in between his lips uh, where the cigarette kind of goes into. And yeah, be very careful if you have the figure not to lose this particular cigarette because it's the one you know, you get three in total, but only one of them kind of fits in his mouth. I guess you could squish the end of the other ones if you wanted to. People have done it in videos. I'm pretty sure I've seen them rocking uh, the fully long, unlit cigarette. But the hair, I mean, I'm catching little light highlights here and there. I don't know if that's just the light playing tricks on me, but it doesn't seem to be just a flat, dark brown. There does seem to be just little flicks of blonde here and there. I don't know, it could just be the lighting. I've been debating with myself whether or not because I did do it the first time the first time I owned this I did kind of give in to temptation I did add a few highlights in the hair myself 
I could do that again and I'd do it better this time because now I know that golden rule you've got to use the right tools for the job I'd use a very very tiny tiny brush and just maybe some kind of sand color and just just get in there and just give a few little highlights just to bring out the blonde a little bit might do it might not because I think in the bright lighting like I got going on here it's just it's working for the figure in a big way just the the detail of the skin I'll try and zoom in a little bit for you here all right we're in a bit closer now and I have removed the cigarette from the mouth so you're getting pure head sculpt pure pit and the details are incredible look at all the little, just the lines and the skin itself the kind of fleckling what's the word tiny little specks everywhere just to give it more depth and more realism excellent work with the hair as well yeah got the little fuzz on the chin there Some fuzz action damn good sculpt great paint on this one too but like i said you really got to mess around with the lights to really get the best look out of this Make sure I'll take some pictures, put it on Instagram and stuff. So you guys can check that out. But I'm not sure, like I said, it might just be the lighting, but I swear I see some little flecks of highlights in the hair, just little, little bits. I know they did because my last one had very subtle highlights as well, but it was very subtle. This one might be a little bit more, but a fantastic head sculpt. One of my favorites, man. This is really, really impressive. Uh, the Blitzway stand is a pretty cool concept because it hides the the rods here behind his legs so he kind of just looks like he's just standing there unassisted but yeah it's a cool cool design it's not the toughest thing in the world so be careful so I've seen some folks break this but so far I've been lucky with the first one that I had and this one has been holding up well so far so that is the, the base slash stand but you also get a waist grabber connection which could go up the top if you wanted to go that route instead of a groin grabber that's kind of cool that they gave you the option in the chair looking damn cool that's probably how i'm going to rock him on the shelf that just looks good from any angle. So I am very grateful to the chap who sold us this figure for including the chair and the dressing gown. Can't wait to see what he looks like in that. That just looks so cool. With the glasses there, the cigarette in the mouth, the beer in the other hand. Essential piece, folks, if you're a fan of the movie. I've shown you a fair bit of the full red jacket look now so I'll remove the jacket and just show you the shirt and then we'll switch it up to the dressing gown which has been modified I have dyed it uh, dusty violet and that was thanks to Nick for the suggestion on the dial on dusty violet dye um, it is very subtle like especially in this lighting because it's kind of being drowned out by all the lights around it but I didn't want to go too far I didn't want to because I did a test I mean, I'll show you the footage now. You can check this. I did film some footage of me dyeing this and doing tests. So check that out now. Right, so I'm just going to do a quick test on this little flannel here. It's not the exact same material, but it seems the closest thing that I have in the house. Just to do a little test run on the dusty violet dye. So that's the before. Alright, 
so the results on the little flannel here are a little bit more intense than I'd want them to be. I did in I did put in quite a lot of dye in the, the basin. So I might uh, a little bit concerned. It is kind of like this in the pictures that I'm finding on Google, but yeah. Anyway, that's how the flannels turned out, so moment of truth. I need to make a final decision whether I'm actually gonna do this. And here is the stock dressing gown by Blitzway. It's got some really nice weathering on it. Nice dirty grimy sections. But it is very white. So if I think if I just put in a tiny bit of dye into a big basin of water, just a little bit, hopefully it will come out nice and mild because I don't want it to be quite as intense as the flannel turned out. Okay. Ugh. really seem to be taking. It doesn't seem to be having much effect here. Now when it's under the water it looks like it is, but then when you take it out. I mean I want it to be subtle but not that subtle. It actually is having an effect. It's very subtle at the moment. Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead because you can you can you can see it. But it's very subtle. I might just put in a little bit more dye. Just give it one more little dose. So as you can see, uh, it went pretty well. I didn't want to lose the weathering that was on there. It's got a really kind of nasty, dirty kind of weathering effect. So I didn't want to lose that. I might have to dye it one more time though. I really don't want to risk going too far with it. It's definitely not as white as it was fresh out of the package. Because that was not movie accurate. I mean, you check the movie, you go on Google, you can see it right now. It's definitely more of a kind of pinky purple kind of violet color. So I'm happy with the results, but I might always you know, just do it one more time. I've still got plenty of dye left. So, all right, let's remove the jacket and show you how that looks. All right, jacket has been removed. We've got some really good proportions here. Shirt fits really well. It looks fantastic. Hard to make a figure like this look bad. One of them ones. Looks good no matter what you do. That's the look from when he first brings the narrator into his abandoned kind of house that he's staying in. He's showing him to his room. You'll see this look. So I guess I'll show you the body because I have to take off the outfit to show you the dressing gown look. So we'll get a look at what the body looks like. All right, so here is the body. It looks good. It's only got a single bend in the elbow though, which is a bit of a pain in the butt when you want to get it to look like he's holding the cigarette up to his mouth. You can't really do that. But the muscle tone is good. It does look like they made this especially for the Fight Club figure of Tyler Durden. You can even see the six pack and all that. It's all there, the veins in the arms that get closer. You can see the veins. The hands are quite difficult to pull on and off the wrist peg. I'm always nervous doing that. It's all coming back to me from the first time I owned this. Changing, uh, changing over the hands is not a pleasant experience. It's doable, but it's not easy. So I left the hands off <laughs> because I got to put on the dressing gown and then I'll put the hands back on. But you get the idea. I think, I mean, I'm no expert on Brad Pitt's body by any means, but it looks pretty accurate to me. So well done Blitzway. Just let it come around one more time for you.
All right, folks, the dressing gown is on and it looks spectacular. It's very cool. The dye has had a beautiful effect, as you can see. It's nice and subtle. It hasn't turned it full on purple or pink. It's had a really nice subtle effect. And this is the way I'll be displaying them on the shelf for some time. It's a very cool look, also quite funny. But definitely reminds you of the scenes. Well, there's quite a few scenes in the movie, including some deleted scenes where you see him wearing this. But the main one that comes to mind is when the, the recruits start showing up on the doorstep. And he's coming out, inspecting them, and telling them to get the hell off the property. But they waited. And eventually Project Mayhem was underway. But it's just awesome. I love the dressing gown. It's absolutely fantastic. And the first time I owned the figure, the shower head accessory was always a really random one because I didn't have the dressing gown with the figure. But now that I do, it makes perfect sense because he's just got out of the shower and there's the shower right there. You can even hang your, your clothes hanger on there. And it's just a very cool look. And because you only get it with the deluxe double pack, not too many folks can rock this look. So I'm so glad that I can now. And that is all thanks to him coming into stock at the figure pit. So that was, it just worked out beautifully. All right, folks, well, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts and wrap up the video. And it's an absolute pleasure having this back in the collection. Just such an important film for me growing up. Came along at a really, crucial time 18 years old and heard the word of Durton and it rang true not all of them obviously because he's, he's mental but you know, <laughs> some of it was uh, and along with Bill Hicks the comedian the late great Bill Hicks uh, anyone out there who doesn't know about Bill the word of Bill I advise you to go off and YouTube him as soon as possible he's on Netflix as well Bill Hicks comedian folks Tyler Durden in one six scale absolutely awesome job by Blitzway now if I was going to give you a score out of 10 I can't remember what I gave it the original time I owned this and I reviewed it all those years ago um, and I have to bear in mind it's a bit odd me having the dressing gown and the chair and the bar of soap where is that? it's over there somewhere and the bar of soap with this red jacket version because you don't usually get those things so, um, excluding the amazing uh, dressing gown and the bar of soap in the chair, excluding that, I would give it a 9 out of 10. And the reason it doesn't get a 10 out of 10 is because the eyes should be blue and the hair could be a little bit more highlighted with blonde highlights, but it's not. So, I'm just being really, really uh, harsh there. I mean, it's, it's clearly a masterpiece, one six scale figure. I would say anyone who gives us a 10 out of 10, fair play to you. I'm almost there myself. It's, you know, could easily get a 10 out of 10. But the, um, do you know what? I haven't actually, let's go in and actually check, double check with really bright light what color the eyes are. Because I've heard so many people say they're not blue. I know they should be blue. But it's been a while since I've looked that close up with good lighting. You never know. Maybe it's a really dark kind of blue paint. Let's take the glasses off and find out before I wrap up the video. Alright, uh, let me just zoom in as much as I can here. I mean, it's not exactly brown, is it? If you really get in there, I'm seeing some blue. It's just dark. No, I don't think they've painted those brown. Yeah, there's definitely some blue, especially with that one. And that, you can really tell that's Brad Pitt as well. Even this zoomed in, you can tell. No, they're blue, man. There's some blue eyes right there. All right, 10 out of 10, screw it. Yep, 10. <laughs> they're just they're just really kind of dark blue, and it's very hard to kind of see it because it's one six scale, but I mean, I, was, I just showed you. You get right up in there. There's some blue eye action. It's got blue eyes, damn it. This is the, uh, the you know, the bonus of it being a few years later after this figure came out and everyone reviewed it. We got better phones now with better cameras. Okay, so he actually does have blue eyes. Well, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 then. I'll take it back. And he looks awesome without the glasses as well. God damn it, this figure is cool. It really, really is, folks. Right, 10 out of 10. 10. All right, folks, thank you for watching. Absolute pleasure having this figure back in the collection again with these added accessories. Absolutely love it. 
and I hope you've enjoyed the review. If you have, drop a like on it, leave me your thoughts in the comments. It's always good to hear from you. And follow me on Instagram at Dean Knight333. Plenty of cool pics and video clips. And don't forget to check out our store where I got this figure in the first place. So it's a damn good thing, <laughs> you know, that he came into stock because I would not have got this guy again. He's too expensive now on the secondary market, so I'm counting my lucky stars. But come check us out at www.thefigurepit.com and subscribe to the YouTube channel, The Figure Pit, and follow us on Instagram too. All right, folks, thank you for watching. Take it easy. See you soon. Bye bye.